Joseph Mongara is the member of County Assembly elect for Muguga Ward in Kembu County. Mongara beat his UDA opponent Peter Ndombe by only 27 votes to clinch the seat that attracted four candidates. UDA had initially demanded a retally but had to concede defeat. Joseph Mungara of Jubilee won the Muguga ward closely contested by election after garnering 4,089 votes against UDS Peter Thumbi who garnered 4,062 votes. Thirdway Alliance candidate Moses Gishau came a distant third with only 49 votes with PPK's Peter Njoroge coming in fourth with 32 votes. Before the final results, there was a standoff at the Muguga Wagatonye Tallinn Centre with the UDA candidate demanding a retally of the votes. We have seen that the results were correct, incredible, we have retarded, we have confirmed, we have reconfirmed, and everybody now is happy and comfortable. After the retally, the returning officer announced the results, declaring Mungara as the winner. The constituency returning officer here by declare that Joseph Kivendi Mungara will be re elected as the member of county assembly for Muruga Ward of Kiabu County. With his supporters bursting into celebration. <laughs> Welcoming the victory, the new MCA elect said he was ready to serve the people of Muguga with the Jubilee Party affiliates terming the victory as a demonstration that the Jubilee Party was still popular in Mount Kenya region. And for the fellow contestants, we are, we are together during our 40 exercise. I would also like to congratulate them for the work they've done. And I know there is also another chance. So come 2022, there will still be an opportunity to come and look for the fruit again. It was free and fair and we run well and square. The only thing I want to say as a member of the Jubilee Party, today we can expose for who we are here right now. We want to make it very clear. We have been very silent. And we are the silent majority. We have been the noises minority. The mountain belongs to all of us and we are going to pay for what is good for our people. Nancy Okwari, Lunchtime News.